Good evening, this is Skix. Uh, my last video left me looking for a place, and this is not that map. This is a server I hang out on, where I have built some stuff. Uh, ongoing series may or may not continue, depending on interest, mine, and others. Uh... But, I built this uh, little grotto here um, when we got the new map with the update. And, I kind of like it. It's a skylight. And then after a bit, uh, we updated um, permissions, so I got the ability to go creative mode, and at that point, I upped my game a bit. So, here's the little grotto. It's lovely, it's got a few neat features, and um, got some villagers living in here. No particular reason, it just seemed like uh, it should have some occupants. It's a nice server. Um, easy enough to find it. It's not a huge population, but I really like it. Built this little tower. But then once I got creative mode, I decided I wanted to build something bigger. So I started recreating my hometown, or towns, Norway, South Paris, Maine. And it's a work in progress. I'm currently living in Utah. Shan't be building Salt Lake City anytime soon, but I'm sure someone's done the temple by now. So here on the outskirts of the town part of the town, we've got this garage. Got gas pumps. Garage bay doors, little oil stain. Not a lot of detail inside the the, uh, the garage store. Uh, might at some point add some some detail to the shop. I don't know. The owner of the garage lives in this little cabin across the way, and it's not really furnished. Has a uh, let's see if I can. Has a secret chest behind the fireplace. Across the little bridge. Part of my terraforming was I took this river and made it rivery. Um, you may have noted that Minecraft rivers sometimes peter out. Um, so I, I dug it in and filled it. Alright, um, to the right is the school, the high school, Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. Um, this is Shaner's, which is uh, a diner across from the school. Now, uh, this is all sort of inspired by an approximate, um, because Minecraft building sort of has to be approximate anyway, uh, but also uh, it's sort of an amalgamation from memory, and a lot of things have changed quite a lot. That was weird. Uh, a lot of things have changed quite a lot since I've been aware of them. Um, I didn't build it with default texture pack, so some of these things don't look quite like I uh, had them in mind as I built them. Um, and then there's a little uh, side window where people can order ice cream. Now, the, uh, the high school um, currently serves like eight or nine different towns. It's huge. Its population is bigger than the town... Um, well, that may not be true, but it's it certainly approximates it. Uh, here's the track. Uh, when I attended the school, the building was H-shaped, and the track next to it made uh, an overhead view form the initials of the school, O-H, Oxford Hills. Um, since then, um, there's been a great deal of work done on it. There's a little path behind. Aww. There's a little path behind... 
and I have this idea of creating a story in the town, and there's a bit of a blood spatter murder mystery. <laughs> um, but we've got the track. I'm going to take to there. There's the school. Now, uh, this version of the school is partly like it was when I went there, partly like it is now, and partly like it was before uh, I went there. This is uh, one of the older parts. Uh, it holds the theater. Uh, the really old parts are all brick. Um, the newer parts in the actual school are uh, a bit more glass and metal. But here's the theater. It's a little dim, so sometimes it spawns. the seats. There's a backstage. Uh, I made the stage of slabs so that the curtains could be half a block raised from it. I've got uh, glass panes in the, the notches with uh, redstone lamps above. Now, it took me a little while to work it out, but It is for performance. Sorry, the I hate that. If there's any lag at all, I, I seem to get the 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 accidental double click effect. And the redstone for those lights above seem to cause a little bit of lag. The uh, the hidden light when the house lights are off. It's coming from these, and if you can see the particle effect, uh, those are actually panels of um, uh, end portal. They're invisible from underneath or from the side, and they produce quite a bit of light. Backstage area, it's not very big. A little bit of storage down below. It's the classroom wing up ahead, but before that, we're going to go look into the cafeteria. You can probably guess what the school colors are. The kitchen behind. And then next to that, oh, next to that is the gym. Oh, look. Skeleton. Uh, the gym includes little uh, makeup behind the bleachers spaces. Locker rooms. The locker rooms are identical. No real difference for boys and girls uh, locker rooms. Probably small for the population of the school. And out past the locker rooms is a path that leads out to the track. And that little door there is from the storage area under the stage. There's Shaner's. I've got the render distance fairly low to keep things smooth, which is clearly working, as every time I step into a new area, I get a freaking slideshow. Restrooms. With the mirror effect. Or a baby zombie somewhere. Ooh, sunset's happening already. <sighs> so irritating. Now, if I were really clever, I'd find a way to rig it so that the doors would open and close to match each other. Not sure how to do that. Getting a bud switch that re reacts to a door and is hidden is has been a challenge I'm not quite successful on. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm not sure if uh, something with command blocks would detect the position of the door. And so, say, if this area has an open door or a closed door, that might work. That might be a way to do that. Library, including supplies, Got some desks, some tables, 
Seems like it's a really short day. I set it to sunrise right before we started, and I know I've not gone like 20 minutes yet. I don't think. Uh, in between the uh, the wings of the school, there's this little gap. Oxford Hill still has that, I think. Um, there are a couple tables out there. You can eat lunch out there if you're a good boy or girl. Student. And the classroom wings. So we've got... I fail at door. We've got a small, small one. I remember there are always a couple, like, half-size classrooms, and then the standard large-size classrooms. Uh, the layout of the classrooms is not always the same. This, you know, the, the cool teachers would have the uh, chairs in a circle. Um, got it set up so that the doors are equidistant, but the uh, the actual rooms alternate. Right? So, uh, because there's a, a half room, you can see this divides where the actual room is. So the, the rooms actually sort of alternate. Some more standard layout. But they're all variations on a theme with the, with the layout. Uh, with the teacher's desk in various parts of the room, sometimes by the, the chalkboard, sometimes by the back wall, sometimes on the side wall. Some classes with more desks than others. got the, uh, the main stairwell with lockers. And upstairs in the classroom wing. More lockers. These classes are more or less the same idea as the ones below. Still quite a lot of variation in the, in the layout. They're all uh, standard. The, the desk is always this model. And the student desks are always that model. do have a bad case of roof spiders in this town. Uh, some of the buildings have specifically left a lot of light uh, showing through the roof. To kind of cut back on that a little, but we still have a lot of roof spiders. I'll call your attention to the, uh, the lamp. It's a redstone lamp. Permanently lit. The way that is done is using a dispenser and an arrow, um, set a pressure plate on top of this, set the dispenser facing into the, the, uh, the light, shoot the arrow into it. It will pass partially through the redstone lamp and trigger the pressure plate. Now somehow it manages to stay permanent. The arrow doesn't despawn, the pressure plate doesn't release. Uh, not entirely sure why that works. My suspicion is that the arrow is in a uh, permanently falling or firing position rather than a landed position. And that's why it doesn't despawn. But it works. Across the street is the post office. It's not specifically patterned after the Norway or South Paris post offices, it's just sort of a generic small town New England -y post office. We've got the cubbies, the sorting area in the back. The school is the biggest structure by far. Leave me alone, you. church, which is bound to be a Catholic church, um, simply because it has banks of uh, candles. Little uh, little pockets for hymnals in the ends of the pews, chandeliers, I'm going to take flight, particularly with the low render distance, there's a lot of detail. We've got the dormer window windows, we've got the, the what do you call the steeple? Got neighbors that way. I've planted some very tall trees to try and mask from the neighbors a little bit. I haven't seen them in a while. I, I don't know if that's a currently active build or uh, 
has been abandoned. And the road kind of goes off. That way I use the, uh, the grass-free dirt here and there um, to show footpaths, like where people go. They, they don't tend to turn at right angles. They'll cut that corner. Um, and that's it so far. Um, I've got a town library, a hospital, a grocery store, a hotel, some apartment buildings. But as I expanded, I, I, I discovered I, I do have neighbors on three of the four sides, and so I can only expand so far. That's why I built this bridge to connect over here. And there's my little grotto. Draw, 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 draw. If need be, I'll cover the grotto. But I've got a, a fairly wide area of plains I can expand into as well. What you're listening to is new music, and I like it. It's nice. Go away. So, there you have it. That's what I'm working on. It's peaceful music, isn't it?